Afternoon everybody. Hi Paul's good. Thank you very much for joining. You're earlier than me. I gotta respect that. So just still setting up the live stream. How's people's Saturday afternoon going? One second, sorry, just uh, trying to get into a warm up area. I'll just go to Watopia Classic. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody being um, around on a, a beautiful Saturday afternoon when no doubt there's other competing interests. So really um, grateful. Thank you. Jake, I hope your um, operation is starting to heal up a little bit. Um, it looked quite painful. Fingers crossed for you all. Time for a nap, Steve. Is that right? <laughs> yes. I'm going to be needing a nap after this. It's going to be a race on um, Alp de Zwift. Ryan, Corinne, Steve, Phil, Quinton, Wilbert, and Anthony. Happy weekend. So the intent today is to take on, it's like a com attempt on Alp de Zwift. I, all we're doing is the climb itself. So obviously I want to do as well as I can in the race. Actually, I'm not sure if my, um, wait a second, my video might be wrong. Is the sound all right? There we go. So it's a race up out of the Zwift. Obviously I'm looking to improve on my timing and hoping it's gonna be a max out effort. Linda, it's, it's rare for you to be able to um, join one of my streams because I'm doing a couple in the afternoon at the moment. Loving a new channel. Riding with Granny, everybody. Mr. Nutter, you'll see I've got a couple of um, bits of homework for you on my latest vlog. Harry, how are you? Wayne and Mike, good to see you all. Daniel, thank you very much, appreciate that. GT, that's, that's Graham Strava sign off. Good to see you. Maximus, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Daniel, thank you for telling me all was good. Scott from Com Hunt is here. Cheers, Scott. Right. So Giacomo, yeah, I've, um, I've posted a bit of homework for you on the vlog. Go and check it out. Nice one, Andrew. I always watch other people's live streams when doing some zone two. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? I hope the, um, what's it called? The, uh, the low carb diet is starting to kind of get a bit easier. To Andrew, sorry, it's Andrew Barry. I think he's on a low carb. <laughs> That's correct, Scott, I was gonna ask. So Corinne, did you complete your 100 miles today? A mere 100 miles for you? Oh, Jane's back. Hi, Jane. I've been left to my own devices. Phil, Phil Churchill, hope all's good. So, looking for a good time up here, up out of Zwift. And I've got, I've got a plan. And it probably isn't a very good plan, but at least it's a plan. And the plan is, I'm gonna go hard for five minutes and see if I'm still in contention. And if I am still in contention, well, I'll refigure out what the plan is. But normally I'm not. Let's assume I've been dropped, because I am good at getting dropped. Um, 101, nice. If I get dropped, I'm gonna try and still go for a best efforts time, but I'm gonna use Ed's, Ed Laverack's um, 30-15s. Because I reckon, um, I reckon it's quite an efficient way for me to get up the mountain. 
Hundred one miles in a bath. Very nice. And one of the other things I may experiment with, and please do not hang around for this if you have better things to do, and I'm sure you have better things to do. Keith Robertson, he did four ascents of Alp de Zwift, each of them at no less than four watts a kilogram. And I'd like to see if I can one day do that. So I may see if I can do a second ascent at four watts a kilogram, i.e. 250, 260 watts, that kind of thing. Dominique, thanks for joining. Um, we're racing out the Zwift. Not sure who I'm racing. Quinton, are you racing tonight, this afternoon on out the Zwift? Because Quinton and I have some epic battles. And Quinton, I haven't got back to you regarding the meetup in July, because I still don't know in the UK if we're gonna be allowed back into the country without 14 days of full isolation if I meet up with you in Europe. But I'd love to. <laughs> I am the ultimate beta male, Jake. Nice one, Daniel. Yeah, once you hit that first sub 60 out the Zwift, you'll keep chipping away at it nicely. Oh, sorry, that's my um, CV arcade buttons. I don't really use those very much at the moment. Definitely get that first one under 60 minutes and then you'll keep chipping away a minute here, a minute there, sometimes two. Oh, nice one, Quinton. Richmond in 40 minutes. That's a hard one. Mark, how's it going? How's Dorset? I'm guessing it's beautiful right now, as is Minehead. They're all in the West Country. Alpha males, yeah, alpha males have caused a lot of havoc on this world. Right, I've got to put my um, air conditioning on, or my, my fan on, so not air conditioning. Because it is quite hot. 4th of July, thank you, Quinton. I'll have to wait out on that. Give me a second, my window's closing. You've got to get your window open and not moving around. Um, yeah. Afternoon, Chris. I'm loving the consistency of your training, sir. Afternoon, Mick, how's it going? Any more of the big KOMs? <laughs> I ag agreed, um, Harry, I do think there is an element of over-caution at the moment. It's just that in the UK, once you come back from anywhere outside of the UK, they're making you stay in your house for 14 days. And, um, I've got kids about 40 miles north of London, or teenagers now. Um, I've got a mum who's up that way as well. My dad's even further north, so I don't want to not be able to travel to see them. Hey, Anthony, uh, I think it was about 42.20 last time around. Wow, this is a big old gaggle of people I found myself within. Indeed, 4th of July. Afternoon, Dean. How's it going? Ah, so you've got a tempter com, Mick. Record it for Scott's channel. Right, I'm just going to um, do a little bit more out the saddle. I do find that getting the hamstrings and glutes warmed up is helpful. Thank you, Linda. You're playing the role of live chat monitor or school hall monitor, I love that, thank you. Hey Tim, how's it going? Now Tim's been getting KOMs without even trying up in um, the Lake District. Well, I'll be looking out for your attempt soon, Mick.
Yeah. Who can guess? I am a glutton for punishment, although I'm not feeling 100%. I'm hoping the coffee will kick in alongside the carbs. I've had loads of carbs, French bread, all that kind of stuff today. Drink a shot. Oh, not me. Sorry, Scott, I thought you were meaning me drink a shot. I'm a, I'm a one glass a night of wine, man. Um, I would say one a night, it's more like once a month. So I was watching Ed's live stream this morning. Boy, was that impressive WKG over an hour 40. Sensational. Well, that's the hopeful approach, Dominique. I'm hoping not to let you all down today. And if I'm whistling out, I appreciate the encouragement. It does stop me from whistling out. Always in that first five minutes on the Alp climb, I'm thinking, what have I let myself in for here? <laughs> getting shot, uh, sorry, getting shot. <laughs> getting drunk on shots while I was whifting. I think that's more of a Cameron Jeffers uh, piece of content. I think his um, audience would appreciate that. I'm hoping so, Dominique. Right, I shall go to the event. Um, I'm on the lightweight bike today, not the Tron. It's any minute now, I think we're in about um, four or five minutes, Ryan. But it'll be about another five or six minutes till we get to the bottom of the climb at least. Well, more than that, more like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think we're allowed to say wuss. Anyway, especially if I'm saying that I'm a wuss. Pike's Peak, nice. I've seen that done on um, sort of, uh, what was it called? Um, Gas Monkey, where um, Aaron, the one with the big beard, did up a car and raced it up there. Very, very dangerous. I reckon a bit better on a bike. Yeah. Are you losing weight at the moment, Scott? Are you in a kind of a cut? No, I haven't, um, Chris. I've not been spending the drops. I remain, I think, the richest man in Watopia. Used to be Chris Pritchard. But I'm a saver. Well, I say a saver. I do find an array of different things. Um, not to fritter my money on. I don't fritter it, but... It somehow disappears. Boris, thank you very much. I'm going to need a bit of luck. So we've got 13 people here in the Cates. That's all right, actually. 14. Okay, well, definitely don't let me whistle. Dan, thank you very much for joining. Happy Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Three thousand calories a day, but I mean, for your height, let's put it height, Scott, and your starting weight, that's appropriate. You don't want to cut too fast, too soon. One of the big problems with um, cutting calories is that most people go like from say two and a half thousand calories a day if you're a male, two thousand if you're a female, down to like twelve hundred. And of course, you get a lot of weight loss in the first two weeks, but then the weight loss stalls because the body finds an equilibrium. Way better to make a two or 300 calorie cut, 400 tops, and see how things go. Keep watching the scales, and if the scales stop going down, then add in a bit more cardio, or a bit more exercise. And that should in turn burn off more calories and the weight will continue to drop. And then once it stalls again, you, you evaluate, well do you add in more cardio, and or drop the calories a little bit more? Slowly, slowly is the way to lose weight. Losing weight is one thing that I have um, 
quite a lot of experience in for the bodybuilding. Thank you, Robert. Much appreciated. Yeah, like the buys. My buys are not looking very impressive at the moment. <laughs> I would love to say wise words, Harry. Food is poison. <laughs> Right. Let's bring the heart rate down a bit. Sip of water. As always, feeling very nervous. Never changes whether it's indoors or outdoors. Thanks all. Time to get serious, as Arnold would say. So aiming for a big five minutes at the bottom of the climb, assess how I'm going, and then assess whether or not it's 30 15s or just monster it. I think it's going to be civilised, as it looks like it is, to the bottom of the climb, and then all hell. Cheers Dave, from Essex, hope all's good. I'm always very jealous of your mechanical skills sir. This isn't quite as civilised on the descent as I'd hoped. That's better. Oh, naughty. Off the front nearly. Oh, cool. it was. Yeah, this is nice. Cheers, Paul. Thanks for joining. Seeing you're putting in plenty of Ed's training sessions too. Thanks, Ralph. It's never civilised on Swift. No, that's true, Mick. But this is civilised. Hey David, nice one on your 370 watt 20 minute power. Insane. It's Billet here. I didn't see him come in. Very true, Mick. Every time. Hey, Michael. Hope the hip injury is getting a bit better. Yeah, I'd have been devastated to be in Ed's race this morning. Christopher, thanks for joining. Happy Saturday. Hey Karen, thank you very much, appreciate that. Enjoy the chat. Everyone's super friendly. Hey 
Oh, bullets in a race. Nice. Bullet, good luck today, sir. Yeah, bullet for Prime Minister, or at least Sports Personality of the Year. Nice one, Michael. Oh dear, it's quite hot today. Ollie, thank you for joining, sir. Much appreciated. Happy Saturday. Yeah, not a slow pace to the bottom here. Not uber horrible either. Nice one, Michael. Ed's coaching is a great investment. Thanks, Corrine. Very early days, though. Right. And so it begins. Heart rate is soared. Oops, too late.
Oh dear. Sorry. Seeing if the diesel engine turns on and gets me back into contention. Good advice, Tim. Nice one, Michael.
Oh, sorry about this. I'm really struggling. Thanks, Kara.
，先上吧。落地I'll do my best, Harry. Hey, I'll say. Try that number. Very kind of you, Giorgio. Not exactly bossing it though.
Yeah, I'm really struggling here, sorry about this.
würde ich sagen. Oh, I've got the wrong gear. Oh, come on. Bone change down.
Oh dear me, not even close to good, but well, thank you all for the encouragement and tips and telling me not to do the 30 15s. I wasn't, I was really burning myself out doing them, not a great idea, but all the encouragement. I, we're about three or four minutes in and I really didn't want to carry on. I knew. I knew it was what's called a bad leg stay. You just get this sort of, the heart rate just soared. It was hard to maintain threshold, which is 299 watts. And I was struggling to punch into 115, 120% of threshold, i.e. 345 to 360 watts on a 15 second burst. So I knew for whatever reason, it just wasn't gonna be today. But, I'm really happy overall though to have got out the climb. I'm not going to be attempting a second ascent at four watts a kilogram. It's very evident there that it's not the right time to do that. And thank you all oh, for the support. Should we have a look at the, um, see what the power data was? It's not going to be vintage. Um, oh dear me. Right, so, so a 20 minute power of 291. Yeah, five minutes, not great. One minute, not great. Um, how do I go? Oh yeah, I think I go to um, end ride. Yeah, so a 25 minute power. Yeah, some way off where I'd hope it to be. I'd be really, up to about 30, 40 minutes, I'd be hoping for like normalized power of, you know, 290 to 300, I guess. But, um, you know, I guess that's cycling, right? You gotta take the good days, the good legs days, and thank, be thankful for them with the, uh, the strugglers. <laughs> thank you, Adrian. Uh, you're an aficionado of the 60, 30s, 30, 15s and all that kind of thing, eh? so you would know. I know, I was, I was trying to kind of merge my last training session of the week for Ed with a race and I've, I've, oddly enough, I have deployed um, 30, 15s or 30, 20s at the Alp to quite good effect where I had um, my personal best time up here. And so obviously I was hoping for a repeat, but um, yeah. People were right. Uh, to, to be honest, if I just settled at 300 watts at the bottom part of the climb, recovered a little bit at like 260, 270, and then gradually ramped it to the end, um, all seated, it would have been a hell of a lot better. Um, but um, I do like an experiment, as you know, science. Oh dear. Yeah, I think um, that's the other thing. It is good for the mental strength to keep keep going and that's why I'm so grateful for the chat. When everybody's providing the encouragement, there's no way I'm gonna have a hissy fit and sort of glide back down the Alp saying it's a bad legs day. I'm gonna kind of drain the tank, um, take it easy tomorrow and just continue with the training next week. I mean, I had a couple of super intense training sessions from Ed. You're gonna see them on a the blog, not this, maybe back end of this week. One of them is called um, The Ultimate Pyramid. And I did it on um, Road Grand Tours on um, Paso del Estevio. Uh, Paso, Paso del Estevio, Paso del Estevio, Estelvio? Sorry, Paso del Estelvio, Estelvio. I'm dyslexic, I am genuinely dyslexic, so I'm terrible um, with pronunciations and things like that. Um, I, as an aside, Paso del Estevio, Estelvio is amazing on Road Grand Tours. I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. It's a lovely climb and the switchbacks at the end are incredible. But I did um, Ed's ultimate pyramid on that. And basically he has you at um, four minutes at 100 to 105% of FTP, 
two minutes recovery, three minutes at 106 to 120 percent of FTP, two minutes recovery, two minutes at 121 to 150 percent of FTP, two minutes recovery, one minute max effort, and then you go back down the pyramid. Once you've gone back down the pyramid, you have five minutes of soft pedaling before you then go and hit zone four for 16 to 26 minutes. Um, and it was 100 TSS in about an hour. Definitely recommend it. It's all on my Strava account, um, that particular session, but it is hell. Um, and that combined with, um, I did an over and under uh, VO2 max session um, on the Thursday has probably drained the tank a little bit. But there we go. Everybody, thank you ever so much uh, for tuning in. I really appreciate it on a Saturday afternoon. I'll probably go back to my normal Saturday morning slot. I think generally I feel a bit more energy first thing in the morning. Um, but I thought it was worth a try the last couple of weekends, um, you know, seeing what it's like to train when you've had a full breakfast and a lunch and all that kind of stuff and the carb stores are like to the max. Um, I don't reckon I'm any better for it than if I train fasted first thing in the morning on water, amino acids and coffee. Um, my body's quite used to the fasted training and so if I load in a few fast digesting carbs ahead of a race, I am golden for about an hour, an hour and a half. It doesn't really make any noticeable difference eating beforehand. If anything, a tiny bit more sluggish today, but that's just a bad legs day. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'll, I'll say thank you. I, am, I might do one extra live stream like a short race or something like that in a week. Um, work has been horrific the last uh, three months because obviously um, with all the turmoil from the pandemic, we've had a lot of clients who have been really, really struggling and we've needed to kind of provide a lot of guidance, help and restructuring for them to get them through. Plus we've had the government lending schemes to get implemented. But now I'm a little bit more um, free on the time. I might be able to squeeze away for like a, a cheeky little 40 minute to you know, maximum one hour sort of race uh, in the week. Yeah, that's interesting, Adrian, on the trainer difficulty, actually. I use 75% myself. I, I stick on 75% irrespective. I don't play around with it. Um, and the only reason I do that is because I haven't ridden a lot outdoors, as people, uh, I've done the crits and things like that. But when I, I've ridden the Innisbrook climbs and I've ridden um, Alp Duez, and at Alp Duez, I hired a bike, a Willier from um, Cycle, Cycle Huez. Cycle Huez? Cycle Huez? God dear, I'm having a nightmare today. Cycle Huez. And um, it was um, a, a beautiful bike, carbon wheels, all that kind of stuff. But they put a 32 cassette on the back. And when I'd been on Zwift on 100% trainer difficulty, I had to use a lot more out of the saddle work to get up the mountain. But I found with a 32 cassette on the back, if I wanted to spin, up Alpe d'Huez, I could spin up Alpe d'Huez in an easy gear. And I reckon on the Watt bike, certainly, 75% trainer difficulty more or less replicates a 32 cassette on the back, more or less, you know, it's not perfect. Yeah, no, thank you, Stuart. And I appreciate all the guidance on um, sort of the Watt ranges. You were, your, your intuition was literally spot on. You know, when you were saying hold 250, that's about all I could hold. And when you were saying now 275, 300, you know, that was good calls. That was good calls. So appreciate that. Yeah, I was thinking that as well also. I might pick a really um, disgusting looking Ed um, workout because um, definitely the pain phase is deployed. But in the little rest periods, it's better for talking to everybody. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll figure that one out actually. That's a good idea. Um, but look, thank you all so much. I'll figure out what the time, actually I might be able to, if I go, oh no, I, it won't have downloaded yet. I think, I think the time would have been like a 46 minutes or whatever up the Alp. Um, so no, no vintage score there. Yeah, I mean, Adrian, I reckon um, the 100, you get more bite, especially if you're out of the saddle. And I know you do a lot about the saddle short efforts having looked at your Strava files. And so, um, yeah, then you'll feel it a lot more, I guess, when you hit the flat, because it's the same on the descent with 100%. You get um, a bigger bang for your buck in terms of the load coming off, the torque coming off on a pedal. Cycling Pulse, thank you very much for joining. How are you? Love all your memes and things like that on Insta. And of course, your channel, sir uh, and, and madam. Love it all. Um, don't forget to stretch. Well, I mean, Wayne, I've got to say, um, your commitment to... Sufferfest yoga 
I approve of. My mum is a massive yoga aficionado, um, now more recently Pilates, but stretching is the key to longevity. Trouble I have at the moment, I can't properly stretch out the legs because the left one is still agony if I get into any kind of decent stretch. So I'm not quite, um, it's basically after any exercise, I'd normally do a full kind of arched over backwards stretch to massively stretch out the quads and then I do a, a stretch on the hammies, but I can't do it at the moment. <sighs> nice one, Andrew, appreciate that. Yeah, you jump on and um, I'm, I'm hoping your um, low carb training kind of kicks in um, because what I found is it does take two or three weeks and then you kind of adjust to it and, it, and the body's getting quite efficient at really converting um, fat into energy, but also, you know, um, protein and the fats that you eat as well into energy. Um, so it does take a little bit of getting used to. I know you've done it plenty of times in the past. Yeah, I've, I have been watching the Movie Star series on Netflix. It is excellent. And some of the internal rivalries are also, you know, it's no wonder they haven't performed brilliantly. Um, obviously, they won the Giro, but, you know, whenever they come to um, Tour de France, they're all fighting so much amongst each other. It's no wonder they haven't won. And you do wonder what on earth um, Ineos are going to do with three potential leaders there. Yeah, I've seen that massage gun actually, Michael. That's the one they advertise on Instagram a lot. It kind of just pummels the uh, the leg. You, you you reckon that's good to go? Do you? Not just a gimmick. Ah, I see, Adrian. That's interesting. So you reckon you reckon I'm a bit unrefined I think is the kind way of putting it when I'm out the saddle so I'm below 70 and yet yeah, yeah there's a real art to that I think I think this is where my complete inexperience on the bike um, comes into play because I do watch really good cyclists on um, YouTube and obviously you know outdoors when we're when the racing's on and you do see people able to maintain a really nice cadence and if you, if you look at any of the indoor specialist guys, the ones that are really winning the really long and big sprints with like 600 to 900 watts sustained over a long period of the time, they kind of get up onto the drops and they kind of, they kind of almost glide into this beautiful rhythm, but quite a high cadence of out the saddle and the watts are just unbelievable. So yeah. Using the body weight through the pedal. I'm going to have to look more into that, Adrian. That's nice. Um, a nice tip. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. So 75 to 80. Anyway, thank you all very much for tuning in. I really massively appreciate it. Um, enjoy the rest of the weekend. And please remember, whoever you are and whatever you do, live, thrive and stay healthy. And the rocker plate, I think that's going to be um, probably a bridge too far for Jane in the flat or slow. Although I reckon... Um, some of the uh, indoor specialist guys have said that they do like it as well um, in terms of you get a bit more um, I guess purchase um, from being able to rock it and <laughs> an alpha fill or an alpha fill I don't know I, I, alpha is never going to be me Roberto I am the man who, an alpha Philippe <laughs> well that would be lovely if you saw my descending heavy on the brakes um, and my actual bike handling skills, I think that's never going to happen. But, um, yeah, maybe Alaphilippe dancing out the pedals on the climb. Anyway, cheers all. Have a great weekend, and thank you very much for your support. Appreciate it.